Harley Harris is the best affiliate on the planet. Now today, now today we're going to go through mobile view and desktop view and master both of them. Um, because a lot of people have their desktop view websites looking good, but on mobile view, it's just all over the place. And a lot of people look at your website from the mobile view. So if anything, you should master the mobile view and not desktop, but you should do both. Okay, so let's do that. Let me show you how we can do that. Okay, I just loaded up a quick template. Now here's the desktop view. Okay, now if we go onto mobile view, um, obviously because it's a smaller screen, a lot of things are much different. I'm going to show you, even if there isn't a problem here right now, I'm going to show you how we're going to fix any problem that you could come, come into. Okay, so first things first, this logo may be too big for you. What you want to do is scroll down and change the size of the logo. So here is 200, which fits actually okay. We can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, blah, blah, blah. And this little three icon thing over there, what you can do is you can change the color of that to black, red, whatever. If you want to change the color, if, if you've got any like, I can make a light pink because the logo is light pink. So we can change that there under icon color. Secondly, the schedule appointment looks a bit out of place, but on desktop view, it looks in place. So is there a way for us to hide it on mobile view, but keep it on desktop view? And there is. So what you want to do is go onto mobile view, click this element, go to advanced, and where it says visibility, you want to get rid of the mobile visibility. So it's not there anymore on mobile view, but on desktop view, it is there. So you can use that where you want in anything, to be honest. Secondly, what is a big thing is the sizing of things. So you can have two different sizes of text on desktop and mobile. Desktop, you can have a big size and the mobile view, if that same size is still there, it looks too big. So you need to make sure that's smaller. So for example, this title here, you can see here how you got different views so you got desktop and mobile so on the mobile side we can make this like tiny like we can make it five sorry five and the but on desktop it stays the same another problem could be for example if two elements are too close to each other like for example this this button could be too close but in this example this text is way too close to the headline so with any element what you want to do is space it okay so click on the element and in, on every element there's a margin and padding section and mess what you want to do is kind of trial and error when you start out but for me i've done a lot of times so i know but you just want to come here and make sure everything is exactly where you want it to be for example this button if i want it closer right now that's on 50 let's put that down a bit and we can make that right there okay so we can see how we can change everything around and you can have different margin and padding for desktop and mobile view which is really good an example for on images what we can do is make them stand out a bit by adding a image border so we can add a little border we can add a box shadow which i recommend so let's add a box shadow the one that's already done for us there looks okay but i probably want the shadow to be black it doesn't seem black to me yeah let's make the shadow black for example now uh, on this template it has these pictures of three, these three women and um, on desktop view it looks okay but on mobile view if you're scrolling this could be quite a lot so so what we can do is hide these elements so let's go on to advanced and let's hide it on mobile view so just a little less um, seen and what we can do I think these pictures are a bit too big so maybe cut them down a little bit okay that will do change the names over there also, what High Level now has is um, recently that added in with every text or anything like that, we can add an animation in. So whenever we scroll past it, it works on mobile view. So if you want, like, for example, the title to come in in a certain way, we can have it come in and is really nicely animated. So just f scroll through these, add some animations in. Don't, don't make it tacky or anything like that. Find a nice one. Or if not, if you join my affiliate program and get all these benefits here, I've got a custom CSS file that you can have that has the best tailored professional uh, code that you can add to these websites, add to the high level websites to make them stand out that much better. Um, if, you sign up, if you sign up to high level through my affiliate link, you get the free trial and of course all the nine benefits here on top of the one-on-one -on -one support. Okay, so I hope you've learned a lot with mobile and desktop view. Be sure, um, please like the video, it helps me out. And yeah, that's it. Thank you.